Hey, Pastor Steve Aldrin, we're so thankful you're here with us today. We're looking at the KJV Everyday Study Bible by Holman. Holman has been doing such amazing quality Bibles the last five, eight, ten years. Absolutely incredible. And so, I'll show you the back. And then it comes in a two piece box. And uh, one thing I like, it's, it's kind of a should I say thinner study Bible? You know, it's about average size for a study Bible, but it's not real thick. It's not like an ESV study Bible or a life application study Bible or something like that. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out here, showing all the uh, what is in the study Bible. And uh, I'll read that. Concise study notes, articles from leading Bible scholars, 99 essential truths of the Christian faith. Um, Bible character profiles, charts, illustrations, images, presentation page, uh, book introductions, two column text, nine and a half point type size, Smith's own binding, ribbon marker, concordance, full color maps. So it sounds a little bit like the um, Premier Study Bible. But you can see, like, the quality of this leather touch, leather soft, is absolutely amazing. And brown in Bibles is either good or bad. There's very little middle ground, but this is marbleized with some texture. Absolutely fantastic. Has all these little airplane designs. One reason they do that is actually this petroleum-based imitation leather, which lasts five, six times longer than the old imitation leathers, also gets slick and uh, so you put your hand on it but I don't know if we showed that spine that spine is one of the best so Holman's got somebody or somebody's in their Bible design department that has just been doing fantastic they've got I wonder if I can remember the name of it I'm looking at it it's some type of just readers KGB I think it may be the readers KJV Unreal. It has a little presentation page, but not a full comportment of family records and that type thing. This came out in 2018. Comes in British tan leather touch, which I'm assuming this is, and black. Printed in China by R.R. Donnelly. R.R.D. I'm assuming that's R.R. Donnelly. In the interior of the KJV Everyday Study Bible is designed as typeset by 2K Denmark using MCM created by 2K Denmark. I've done a video on how they're using computer enhancement really for the visually impaired to create the premier Bible reading experience. This is between 1900 and 1950. Cambridge, Oxford, your long primers, your two Kois cameos, and then your uh, ear and spotted wood, and maybe Collins clear type. They really set the standard for a clear text type. Still to this day, like the Cambridge large print I'm looking at. By the way, I did a video on this Cambridge large print with that Smith leather conditioner made it look like new unbelievable that smith's leather conditioner hat tip to paul's leather company for recommending that it's much better than mink oil at least i think and i plan god willing on doing a video comparing it to mink oil all right so the general editors ed blum doctor theology university of basil Trevin Wax, publisher, Bibles, reference books, and commentaries, BH Public, PhD, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, Steve Bond, senior editor for Bibles. So these are the guys doing a great job here. PhD, Vanderbilt University, E. Ray Clinton, and PhD, University of uh, Texas at Arlington, senior acquisitions editor for Bibles, reference work, commentaries, Chris W. Cohen, Editor, Bibles, Reference Books, Commentaries, Ph.D. Southern Baptist, then Ph.D. Westminster Theological, uh, David K. Stabnow. And uh, then it has a list of the contributors. Hannibal LaGrange University. How about that? Um, used to know some folks in Hannibal, Missouri. Hannibal LaGrange. So we're going to look at the spine here. Actually, I said the spine, the headbands and the tailbands. It does have the stitching that is so great all around it as well. But it has, I'm going fast there, sorry. 
It has decorative headbands, tail bands, two ribbon markers. This is in a leather soft too. It's gonna be Smith sewn, I'm assuming, which means it's gonna lay flat in Genesis. Yep, in Genesis 18. And it has three columns of notes. Um, let me just flip this around. You can see the print in the Bible itself is absolutely eminently readable. The study notes are much smaller. So this is a nine and a half print. Now not all print sizes, like you can have nine and a half point print sizes you can't barely read because they're not line matched right. There's a lot of ghosting, you know, bleed through from page to page, just how it's spaced on the page and on and on and so forth. This is fantastic and also has good in-text headers, none at the top, uh, which helps for writing. Now, it doesn't have much in the way of uh, margins to write in, but I was going to get to the introduction. So it has a little introduction to the Pentateuch and then an introduction to Genesis. It's, it doesn't focus on introductions. It's not like your open study Bible, which I remember years ago, probably 30 years ago plus, I recommended to Nelson for them to do a separate book for the open Bible uh, introductions, and they did for a while, I think it for $5.99. It was they're absolutely fantastic and good for new converts. The Open Bible, it's been going like the KJB Open Bible for 1999. And a lot of people think the Open Bible is a different translation. It's not, the Open Reference Bible. There is a different translation called the Open Translation. Um, and here's what the introduction to Genesis is. But the Open Reference Bible, so you can see, I mean, it's, it's not much. But man, with the tri-column notes at the bottom, can fit a lot in there. A lot of notes. And it's got articles as well. Like uh, huge character studies, the uniqueness of the Genesis creation story. I'm just show you. I mean, these are full page articles. And uh, Let's take a look at the gilt edging. It's not art gilt edging. It's not like gold over red or anything like that. So, but it's extremely evenly done. I remember I knew some people that did a Bible one time and we were meeting with Thomas Nelson and we showed them the Bible and they, you know, made, mentioned it looked like dog leather. So I mentioned that. Boy, they got mad at that. I, and I, I didn't mean it bad at all. I was just repeating what I'd heard. Um, beautiful color. This is a real thing. You have to be really careful when you get the ribbon markers out because a lot of times you rip your pages doing that but they keep them nicely folded in they're diagonal cut they're the same link different color so you can know if you're in the old or new testament for example let's see how far it reaches here uh, about two and a half inches let's see if it's red letter before we get there though let's See if it's got any thing in between Malachi and uh, Matthew. It doesn't. It does have like an introduction to the Gospel and Acts. Mary, the mother of the first time. It is not red letter. 99 Essential Christian Truths, The Nature of Hell. Reminds me of that horrible old joke they put in church bulletins sometimes. Said, pastor had preached on hell and somebody came up and said man thanks pastor he said I didn't know what hell was till I heard you preach well we know what he meant but uh, sometimes things come out a little different 
it's like uh, I knew the liturgical church one time that baptized babies and so they had multiple baptistries set up around the church so in the bulletin they said we'll be baptizing babies at both ends you know it's like yeah you, know, you gotta watch those those churches we actually our church in McDonough Georgia looks like it's point three seven five on the side the newspaper came out because of our church signs. They liked our church signs so much. 0.375 up top. The gutter, I mean, you can write just a little bit in the gutter. It looks like it's 0.375, maybe 3, 0.375 all the way around. But if I was to say that, I would be incorrect because it looks like it's 0.425 at the bottom. Now it's nine and a half. Let's see what it is in the notes. It's small notes. Now, it's very evenly spaced and everything. Let's just say, according to my print size meter, it's below seven. Let's see if it's six. Maybe six. But it's readable. Not a lot of ghosting. They use good paper. 99 essential Christian truths, priesthood of the believer. 99 Central Christian Truths, Christ to Substitute. Tons of notes, far more notes than you might would expect in something uh, of this size, which is not real large. Let's see what we've got in the back here. Okay, so at the back, we have articles. I'm fixing to have to do my old mom thing. Mom used to do that. Okay, what really happened to the apostles? That's pretty cool. Table of weights and measures. Uh, a concordance, decent sized concordance, but pretty small print. I'll show you the print there. Appreciate Sister Waldron zooming in and out. I can't get over how good this spine looks. KJV Everyday Study Bible, King James Holman. They, they hit a home run on that spine these people just that we've read about in the front they're just cooking with grease as they say now, Holman always has good maps has a three-year Bible reading plan daily bread harmony of the Gospels that's good kind of a computerized easy to read um, not slicky map, map paper but kind of uh, cardboardish doesn't have much in the way of like blank sheets in the front and the back. Smithsonian, you don't really need them unless you want people to write there. So you're not going to be writing a lot in this Bible. There's just not a lot of space to write. Which, I mean, you'd get a church Bible publishing or one of these journaling Bibles or something if you're going to write in a Bible. So uh, let's see. The exact dimensions we're not going to do the Bible block we're going to do with the yap the overhang people say it's called a yap because God is speaking he's but I wouldn't say God is yapping uh, it looks like it's 9.425 that way and it looks like just your basic maybe quarter of an inch overhang yap And it looks like it is six point, right at 6.25, maybe 6.3. So this is an excellent study Bible. I, you know, I picked up reading some stuff about it that maybe they were trying to get it for like new Christians and stuff. But uh, it'd be good for Sunday school teachers or just anybody, just reading, refreshing, getting doctrines. I probably wouldn't agree, obviously, with all Baptist doctrine, but probably have some good stuff. So it's only about 1.65 inches thick, if I'm reading that right, which, again, for a study Bible, is eminently carryable. I would be interested to know exactly how many study notes that it has because it with the try like the uh, Tony Evans study Bible I think does the three at the bottom too and you can just fit a lot more in there but it's at the expense of print size
Here's the Grace and Truth Study Bible by Al Mohler. It's hard to believe Al Mohler had Zondervan do his Bible and not Holman. But um, you can tell it's quite a bit thicker and it's a little wider. Just to give you some comparison, it's probably an eighth of an inch wider. Just about the same as far as height. So excellent print, tons of notes, pretty good doctrines, you know, 99 doctrines. Um, not a lot in the way of introductions, not a lot of room to write, great size, unbelievably formatted. Everyday Study Bible, I just thought I'd present it to you. We just want to do all things Christian here, so even in the broadest sense of that term. God bless. We love you. Thanks for being with us. Pray for us and share with your friends, family, church family, Sunday school classes. Put it on social media. Listen to our playlist and join us daily. God bless. We love you. Bye.